This gas generator is from Harbor Freight. It's the Predator 9000, and we're going to clean the carburetor today. First, we got to remove the two clips on top and the bolt on the bottom. Now we can take that off and we'll remove our air filter. Now let's go to the back and remove the hose from the top. And then we're going to remove the hose from the bottom, which has a hose clamp we've got to remove first. Then here we have two nuts that we have to remove. So we use our socket set. And then there's also a bolt in the back that we have to remove from the bottom right here. Once you remove that, you can start to remove this plastic piece and see the carburetor. And it's clipped to the fuel line, so we'll just unclip it and we'll just set it to the side for now. Now we have the carburetor exposed, we can go ahead and start to remove that. First thing we're going to do is come up here and there's a tiny little spring right here. We're just going to remove that. Once we get that taken off, we're going to move on to the rod. On the right hand side here, we're going to push it to the left and you can see it moves this piece here. So what we'll do is we'll push it all the way over to the left hand side and we'll use our other hand to lift the rod out of its hold. And we could just leave that there for now. Next we'll move on to the bottom here and we'll just take a Phillips head screwdriver and we'll take these two screws out here on the bottom. And when you're taking this thing out, a little bit of gas is going to leak from the bottom so you might want to throw a tray underneath here. Now we'll take it off its studs and you can see on the back there's a little gasket so we'll make sure that stays on when we put it back. The fuel hose was a little stuck so we took a flathead screwdriver to loosen it up. Now that we got the fuel line off, we can go ahead and take this carburetor and break it down and clean it out. First thing we're going to do is grab a 9 16th wrench and we'll loosen this bolt on the bottom and take that out. And be careful, if there's an O-ring on there, don't lose that. You're going to need that when you put it back together. Now we'll take off the top and we'll remove the pin that's holding this plastic piece on. We'll take the plastic piece off. And this piece right here in the middle is the most important part. This gets clogged up and causes a lot of problems. We'll take a flathead, remove it, and you can see there's two pieces. There's a little small piece right here, and then there's a longer piece that's inside as well. So we'll remove this and we'll get everything cleaned up. We use carburetor parts cleaner and we cleaned everything on the inside. But the most important part is these little pieces here. You need to make sure this little pinhole is completely clear, not only on that small piece, but this long piece as well. Once all that's clean, we can put everything back, make sure the slotted side up on this so you can use the flathead screwdriver to tighten this back. And now we'll start putting everything back, starting with our plastic piece here. And you wanna make sure all these parts are clean really well. That way there's nothing sticking internally. Here we're replacing the pin. And when you put the piece together, you're going to have the gold piece at the top and the bottom piece with this part protruding at the bottom. Now we'll add our bolt, tighten that up, and then we'll use our 9 16 wrench to tighten it all the way. Next, we'll attach it to the generator. Here I put the fuel hose on first, but it's probably easier to attach it to the studs first and then attach the fuel hose. Next, we'll reattach the rod here, and we'll go ahead and push it all the way to the left-hand side and then insert it into the hole, and now we'll connect our little spring. Here, we used a needle-nose plier to stretch it over, and we used our other hand to fish it through the little hole. Now, we'll connect the wire on the bottom, and we'll get our Phillips head screwdriver and tighten the two screws. Next, we can add the plastic piece on top, and we're going to tighten up the two nuts on the outside, add our filter, and then attach our cover. Don't forget to attach the bolts in the back and the hoses to the back. Here's a pro tip to keep your generator running smoothly. Turn it off from the fuel shutoff valve. That way there's no gas in the line or carburetor and just let it burn all the way out until it turns off. This way the gas doesn't get old in there and gunk up your carburetor.